Welcome back to Press Review In Depth, where we'll take a look at the latest developments in Iranian politics. Our monitor features the article Ahmadinejad's return may be boost for Rouhani by Mayor Javad Anfar. According to the article, Ahmadinejad wishes to return to politics and is engaged in a PR campaign. The author writes that the backlash against subsidy reforms means with electricity, food and fuel prices expected to go up because of these reforms, Ahmadinejad is hoping that the public will blame Rouhani and yearn for his return. He adds there is also the IRGC factor. Both Ahmadinejad and the leadership of the IRGC belong to the conservative wing of Iranian politics and both have their own reasons to dislike Rouhani. The author concludes during his term in office he fell out with everyone, including the IRGC, which initially supported him. Now that Ahmadinejad is making a comeback, it is only a matter of time before he falls out with the IRGC leadership again. Tehran Times, meanwhile, says unemployment has reached a critical level in Iran. Iranian First Vice President Eshak Jahangiri has criticised the administration of Ahmadinejad for paying huge amounts of loans to small businesses. The article says the Statistical Centre of Iran has announced that the average unemployment rate for the past Iranian calendar year, which ended on March 20th, hit 10.4%. The article adds Iran must create 8.5 million new jobs in the next two years, Iranian Finance and Economic Affairs Minister said in November. And according to a business article in Bloomberg Businessweek, Rouhani told a mainly female Iranian audience on Women's Day that women should have equal job opportunities to men. The article says change may be slow given the country's power structure. Speaking a day before, Ayatollah Khamenei, Iran's highest authority, likened gender equality to a flawed ideology and said equality was sometimes a right and sometimes a wrong. The article says Rouhani's moves to allow more internet access have been criticised by conservative rivals and the Asaman newspaper, a reformist daily, was shut down in February for publishing an article critical of Islamic laws. The article adds, still, Rouhani has followed through on his vow to increase the presence of women in society and government, where he has three female vice president. And for more updates, please visit Levant.tv. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.